In today's seller's market, bidding wars are happening all the time. How do you avoid the agony of a bidding war? That's the topic of today's video. How to avoid a bidding war when you're buying your next house? That's the topic of this video. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes right here in Long Island, New York. Bidding wars on Long Island are very typical. They happen a lot, particularly during the seller's market, which we are in right now. I'm going to share with you things that you can do, tips that you can do to save the aggravation of that bidding war and hopefully help you secure the property. The first thing that you should be doing is getting all your ducks lined up in a row. What do I mean by that? Get pre-approved. Get pre-approved for your mortgage so you know what you can afford before you go shopping for a house. Use a lender that allows you to contact them directly, one that will allow you to give to give you their cell phone number. So if in fact you get into a sticky situation where you finally found that right house for you and you put a bid on it, you can call them, text them right away, and they can give you answers to your questions. One typical thing you might need is a updated um, updated pre-approval letter. Maybe the one you have is a little too old and the realtor who has the listing wants something new which can make your offer stand out above all the others. So make sure you deal directly with a lender that's willing to share, usually somebody that's local rather than somebody that's you know, uh, in another state and you have to go through operators and everything else and you can't get directly to that person. Somebody that will allow you to have their cell number on your speed dial. Check out my video on how to get all your ducks lined up in a row. Another tip that can help you avoid a bidding war, or at least if you're in that war, it will be very short and you'll hopefully get the deal, is be the first to the show. Either with the help of a realtor or monitoring all the real estate websites yourself, set yourself up with push notifications. What do I mean by that? Whatever website you're using, make sure you type in all the information that you're looking for, how many bedrooms, baths, school districts, uh, towns, the type of house, and when a new listing gets uh, populated or uploaded to that site, you will get a email or a text telling you that a new house has come on the market. And what you need to do, and where a realtor comes in uh, to be helpful in this situation, is you need to get in contact with the listing agent as soon as possible, or your realtor that you have that you've been working with so they can set up an appointment preferably before the first open house because in a very hot market like we're in right now a seller's market the houses are gone before the first open house or sometimes they don't even have the open house uh, some uh, homeowners decide that they have a first accepted offer but they still want to show the property that is the homeowner's choice but you might be going in there and the house already has an accepted offer on it and it could be a waste of time. Not always, but at least if you're the first one to the show, you're able to get um, your offer up front before any of the others, and that has some power to it. Okay, we've been going over how to avoid a bidding war when you're buying a house. I hope you enjoy the content. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, click the notification button, and give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content, and leave comments below for other videos you'd like me to discuss in the future. When you finally find the right house, make a strong offer with both price and terms. Rely on recent comps to actually guide you to that number, but don't forget your budget. You don't want to go over that number. If the listed agent comes back with a counter of best and final, make sure you do just that. Don't play games. You might not get another chance to bid on that property. So remember your budget. Always remember your budget. Look at the comps again and make the bid that's the strongest possible bid that you can do. If terms can change a little, think about that. Find out if the homeowner needs some flexibility in the terms, meaning he needs to leave in three or four months. And if you could accommodate that, it will give your bid that much more strength. So make sure you articulate that to your agent or if you're buying on your own, that you articulate that to the homeowner when you're going through with the process. Okay, and once your offer is accepted, remember the fun just begins. You got to keep up that energy. You have to get your house inspected. A home inspection, highly recommended for anybody, even for cash buyers. You want to know what you're getting. I don't want you to be 
over utilizing that home inspection and trying to use it as a tool to uh, try to get some money off the price or a significant amount of money because if you do that it might work but it might also backfire on you and that another buyer might come by and say they don't care about the little problems with the house as long as there's nothing major they'll take the house as is and then you can be bounced out of that um, the accepted offer and somebody else ends up getting the house so remember that there are pros and cons to trying to utilize that home inspection as a tool to buy down the price. It's really, you should be utilized for you to know what you're getting yourself into. And the offer you made was on the house when you first looked at it. Again, if there's anything major wrong with the house, certain things have to be fixed. Uh, that's a whole nother video. But don't overutilize that home inspection and say, that's going to be a tool that I'm going to take 50 grand off the house because that's how I'm going to be. You'll lose the deal. Okay, now you probably understand what I mean by how to avoid a bidding war when you buy a house. It is a long process. It is a stressful process. There's a lot of bumps, some of them bigger than others, uh, throughout the whole process. And it is in your best interest to think about something called buy a broker. And I'm going to include a link down below to a video I made on what are the advantages of buying a broker, particularly the title is why hire somebody to work against you uh, in the real estate process and it will explain in detail what a buyer broker is and how it benefits you but in this particular situation a buyer broker will be working on your side to work out all these different parts and find that perfect house so in a bidding war situation when it's a seller's market like it is right now on Long Island it is probably one of the best investments that you can make and it will all be explained in the link below in that video okay you can see by now that how to avoid a bidding war when buying a house is definitely a long drawn-out process and that's only half the battle you still have the contract the appraisal and everything else and the closing to get through but that's another video so if you want to get a free buyer's guide to help you navigate through this particular process either email or text me and i'll be more than happy to send that your way thanks for watching